Hello everybody, it's Olivia. We're doing some more, well, I guess we're not doing an unboxing, I guess. So we're just gonna show off some stuff because y'all like it when we show off stuff. But Renisha is here again. Yay. Yay, everybody loves Renisha. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> and she's got an awesome shirt. I got my Reptar shirt on. Yeah. What shirt are you wearing? I am wearing something that's very appropriate for my mood lately. Mm -hmm. it just says free hugs and it's got cactuses all over. Ah. So, yeah, free hugs, but I'll cut you. Ooh, watch out. Oh, I guess I should mention what we're actually doing. Yeah. That might be helpful. Um, so we're gonna be showing off some bleach stuff. I saw a bunch of comments talking about how you want to see some bleach stuff. So we already showed off all the other stuff. So might as well do bleach. Uh, so we have Rukia and uh, Ichigo's and Brett. Whoa. I know, I thought I was already gonna open it. I was like, oh no. We're gonna open it. Um, hopefully this doesn't uh, give us any bad luck. Should we like move? Ah, what's the difference? I already have bad oh. luck. Oh, you did it already. Oh. oh. I feel like a lady. I, like I feel like a, like a lady with a parcel. I feel like I'm back in Georgia in the yeah. South. Exactly. I do declare. We do declare. I do declare. We're just some tired old fair maidens. Yeah. Fair maidens. I don't know where Southern we are. Bells. Southern bells. Southern bells. Oh gosh. Ah, clutching my pearls. The sun it beats down upon us. Oh. <laughs> hey, bring me some sweet tea. Should we switch umbrellas? Sure, why not? So we could. Un um, how do we do this without making a mess? This way. Look at us. Look at us. See that one? Ooh. Ooh, this one gives me a different feeling. I, I know it does, doesn't it? That one, see, that one's like you're like a southern belle kind of. You're, the sun's beating down on you, on you. This one's I'm having a bad day. I'm walking through the dark alleyways of New York City while the rain beats down. What do I see in a corner? Somebody who's going to fight me. Little do they know this is a sword handle. So what do I do? This which, so the next thing we have are the foam zangetsus. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about uh, our foam leech swords. Uh, this is it. So if you have any Ichigo cosplays. Or conventions to go to. Yeah. Lucky you, covered. because we haven't been able to do it yet. And these are really cool, because they're really nicely detailed. I really love the handles. And then there's also this one, which is the katana version. Also really, really detailed. Like, look at the handle on this. Yeah, you could do all kinds of stuff with it because it ain't gonna hurt anybody. Next, we have the Nozarashis. Uh, we say Nozarashis yes. because we have a smooth one and a chipped one. Got it. Oh. Ooh. Shiny. Wavy. Shiny and wavy. I feel like, um, what is his name? Um, Wayne's World. Wavy. <laughs> And uh, the handle, we were saying earlier, it kind of looks like something out of like a mummy movie. <laughs> it does, like you have the gold and then you have the wrappings, yeah. like these white wrappings that look like a mummy. Yeah, but I really like it. it it's like, it's, it's a very unique sword. Uh, do you want to show them the chipped version? Yeah, chipped I'll version. keep this right here. Oh, okay, wow. Ooh. Semi-sharp as well. Yeah, semi-sharp. And it has the same, same design, it's just a little bit more curved as the, uh, the, the smooth one. So if you look at it really, really closely, you can kind of see those... Uh, yeah, there's little itty bitty chips. chips in there, yep. yeah. Here, if you want to see the kind of them, uh, the two of them side by side, it's uh, so the one that I have, and this one right here, is uh, the non-chip version, and the one that Olivia has is the chip version. So yeah, we got uh, the Tensa Zangetsus, uh, first edition and second edition. So the reason why uh, the second edition currently has a uh, leather sheath is because of the lumber um, supply going on right now. It's it's a mess. Uh, there's a really short supply of wood, crazily enough. It's like Catan up in here. So it's kind of limited on wooden sheaths like this one. So we kind of moved on to leather sheets for the second edition. So it, it might be temporary, it might be not. But yeah, that's that's why if you're noticing. Yeah. So yeah, let's open these bad boys up yeah, or bad uh, girls up. I don't know. Bad anything, yeah. <laughs> but good swords. <laughs> oh uh, boy. So you, the details on this one are crazy. The details, especially on that one, if you want to show that one off first, I love the details on the first edition. Like it has like a, ooh. I've actually never opened this one, but ooh. Oh God, it keeps going, okay. Check out that sheath. Yeah, the sheath is like, I love the detail on the sheath where it kind of looks like it's like rainwater all It looks around. like a banana. It does. <laughs> it does look like a banana. <laughs> Details on uh, uh, the sheath are really, really amazing and on the sword as well. 
Uh, it, there's like dragons on it. You got the chain on it. The details on the blade are so cool as well. I, I love the bleach swords because they're, they're like, bleach is like a very stylish anime in my opinion. And I feel like the swords reflect that. I want to hold it. Yes. Ooh. It's really light actually. Yeah. How does, the most impressive thing about Ichigo is him fighting with this chain attached to this sword. But I would get so annoyed if I was in the midst of this anime and this chain was just hitting me. Um, this one's also, ooh. Yeah. Oh, it's so shiny. Ooh, nice. Oh, I don't, oh. I don't know which one I like more. I don't either. This one's really nice. Yeah, this one's really, really nice. Again, such a stylish it. sword. It's so pretty, I can't stop touching yeah. it. And I love the little, like, this is so unique. The the, the space in between. Yeah. Amazing. And uh, it's got the same uh, tuba as the other one. Mm -hmm. You can kind of get a glimpse of that. Does it also have the dragon at the bottom? It doesn't, but I think it has something else. Is it the symbol of the Soul Society? It is, yeah. yeah. So this one's really, really cool. Both the uh, Tensus and Getsus are really nice. Should we hold them up side by side? Yeah. Yeah. Super cool swords. Yeah. Love them. Okay, so we got um, the Zengetsu 2.0. Let's see what she looks like. Is it one for first? Let me. Fresh leather smell? I don't know. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It smells like leather to me. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, it's nice and fresh. This is now uh, unboxing Olivia. It's sniffing swords with Olivia. Ooh. Oh, wow. Now, it's not sharp, but it is quite pointy. Yeah, I, I would have. Yeah, it's pretty pointy. This is definitely not convention friendly. Yeah. But it is a beautiful sword nonetheless. Yeah, it's really, really nice. Um, yeah, it's got this dual tone kind of thing going on and I love the details of like the sharpness at the bottom and then like the tip. This is Toshiro Hitsugaya's sword. It's so soft. <laughs> and, uh, and we got Benihime's sword over here as well. So let's unsheathe it first though. Okay. Ooh, this one's smooth. Got a slight wavy pattern on yeah. it. Slight wavy pattern to it. Um, the tuba on this is really nice. So here's how the tuba looks. It has like kind of looks like a starfish. Yeah, it does. It's a really cute sword. Uh, I, I haven't seen Bleach in a while, so I don't really recall a lot of um, the characters. But it's uh, I just based off this sword, I would assume that this character is really cute. And if he's not cute, <laughs> like adorable, then um, I apologize if he's like the worst character in this show. He's got a cute sword. He's got a cutesy little sword. If anybody cares, if uh, Asterix from Bleach, the very first opening, I believe, great bike riding song. Listen to me, you go out there, get on your bike, put your headphones in, play Asterix by, what is it, Orange? I forgot the band's name, but play the first Bleach opening, okay? And then tell me how you feel when you ride a bike. Exactly, <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's great. I, 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 I biked with that song playing so hard that I had an asthma attack on the side of the road because oh <laughs> I got so excited. <laughs> Trust me on this one. All you Bleach fans, look at me, try it. <laughs> um, so next we have Benihime Sword. Yes. This one is, this one's got a lot to it, a lot going on. Let's let's take a moment for just- There is um, all kinds of stuff. All kinds of- It's like a Christmas tree. It is, like you got this thing on it, you got this thing on it, this right here. There's a beautiful handle and it's really unique because it's like not to little speckles. Yeah, and then take a look at the sheath. The sheath has that other like uh, like the Ichigo's uh, Zangetsu did. Yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful sword. And it's and it's just beautiful on its own, like not even unsheathing it. You want to grab the other side? Ooh. Oh. Yeah, this one is, it's nice. Very classy. Very classy. Yeah. This is, it's a very classy sword. It's like a very. sword for a classy man. It really is, it's like, or a formal event or something. Yeah, yeah. This is like, this is like the person who has like a sword. He's got like, he's got like a regular katana. And then he's like, oh, I have to go to a business meeting in Europe. Yeah. Let me get my business katana. My, bu my business katana. <laughs> my fancy katana. So we have the Senbon Zakura and we have Rukia's uh, Sode no Shirayu Shirayuki, I think is what it's called. Sure. Yeah. So let's start with this one. This one's really nice. The purple and the white is like elite. Like this is like such a nice color combo. They're very like aesthetically pleasing swords compared to the rest of them where it's like very dark toned. Uh, Ichigo swords are like all black and red. Uh, Benihime sword, black and red. All these swords are like, re like have really like dark colors. So um, let's unsheath this. You wanna grab? Teamwork. Te oh. <laughs> Oh, I oh like this is a nice sword. 
Shiny and wavy. Shiny and wavy, that's all you need. And I feel like it, it, it it's like very like true to his character. He's a very like clean guy. Yeah. Right? Yeah, pretty straightforward and pretty straightforward. Uh, straight laced and Yeah. The tuba on this is really nice. It has like a it's also again very different from the rest of them, like a very square suba. So this is Rukia sword, Sode no Shirayuki, I think it is what it's called. Uh, so this sword's really clean, uh, pure white sword. Um, my favorite thing about this sword is you got a little dangly thing. I love dangly things it's, on swords. And this one's like adorable if you wanna, if you- it Reminds me of uh, back in the day, I don't know if y'all did that when you were younger, but when you put the little, the little uh, charms at the end of your phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what it reminds me yeah. of. Yeah. Which again, I think is very true to the Bleach anime. It's very stylish anime, I'm telling you guys. Um, this one's really, really nice. Uh, let's unsheath it. Oh, yes. Oh my God, this one's so nice. Yeah. It's like so clean. I think, I think Renisha's probably gonna take this one. I am. <laughs> I keep unboxing swords and then I'm like, oh my God, I love this. And then somehow it ends up in my house. How? When did it happen? <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, this one's gorgeous. Like, and then also the tuba on this is really nice too. You got your pure white tuba, which is something again you don't see on a lot of the bleach swords. Is uh, like something like this, and it's also uh, kind of looks like a basketball. Oh, I was gonna say it looks like a bow. Oh, does it? Yeah, yeah it does. It does. Yeah. I I feel like if I had this sword, I would be very scared to hold it because it's so white i would be afraid i'd like yeah how does she fight with this thing? right how does she clean it do you think she uses bleach to get it out bleach somebody thought that was funny somebody laughed so yeah here's all the swords that we just showed you um yeah. you could find all of these these are all in stock right now i believe yeah if not you know you could see them on fireandsteel.ca mm -hmm. if they are out of stock if you see some that are out of stock just uh know that we have a little notification thingy yeah. that you could just put your email address and they'll notify you as soon as it's back in stock. Um, I also realized that this whole video I was calling uh, this sword Benihime's sword. Uh, the sword is called Benihime because I haven't watched Bleach in years. I used to be a big Bleach fan, but it's Urahara's sword, so don't come for me. I love the Bleach swords. Uh, this was a lot of fun. Yeah. Thanks for inviting me back. Oh yeah. Thanks for coming and thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed what you just watched, please check out the links in the description down below. And like always, please consider subscribing and comment. Let us know what you think. We also have a lot of other videos. Please check them out. I know that you guys have mentioned a lot of times that you guys wanted to see some of these things demonstrated. So we have a lot of videos demonstrating how these actually do function. And we have a lot of videos of the behind the scenes at Fire and Steel. So thank you so much. See you guys next time.